Ida for ignoring my sisters after they weren't there in my time of need. I 29 F won't say the diagnosis, but it causes me to be ill very often it's a miracle if there's one week where I'm not sick. This diagnosis means I'm prone to getting ill and will often easily pick up whatever my work colleagues or anyone who is sick and is around me has. My immune system is weak, and whereas people are often told to rest and take paracetamol ibuprofen, I have to go to my GP for solid antibiotics to fight this infection as my immune system can't. Although I have this diagnosis, I don't talk about it or complain and get on with the day. Anyway, this is a recent issue. About three weeks ago, I became ill. This was the worst type of illness I experienced, and my doctor booked me in for a next day appointment and diagnosed me with what she thought was the diagnosis and what she thought was the correct treatment. I came home and took the treatment but didn't feel better after a few days, so I called my doctor who up the dosage. Usually, although I'm ill, I'm alright on my own. But I just was so poorly I couldn't get out of bed for this illness. I asked my oldest sister if she could just come down and look after me for a few hours, and she said she couldn't, which I respected as she does have a one-year-old son now. I asked my middle sister, who's currently unemployed, and she just said no, and I'm not going to lie I was pissed with her. A few days later, I felt worse and decided to call the ambulance, and the paramedics said I developed sepsis. This was the scariest moment of my life as my mom passed away due to sepsis two years ago. I was so scared I couldn't stop crying, and the paramedic comforted me. We went to AE, and they phoned my knock, and my oldest sister, who is knock, said she couldn't come down. My best friend, however, drove straight down from work to be with me. Since then, I've fully recovered from sepsis but haven't recovered mentally, if I'm honest, and the thing is, what I find difficult is whenever my sisters are ill or need money, it's always me coming down to look after them even though I have a weak immune system. I always lend them money as I don't have financial circumstances. The only person here for me in my time of need is my best friend. I'm pissed and upset with my sisters for not being there, and I felt they would know what I would think due to what happened with mom. I haven't spoken to my sisters since then, yet they still try to call me and text me but say I'm being an asshole for being upset and ignoring them just because they weren't at the hospital. Certain family members have said I'm being childish and pathetic, and it's about time I grew up. I feel a bit guilty for not messaging my sisters, and I wonder if I'm the asshole for being upset with them and taking it too far.